Ronjad has developed here in Bobadjolasso a new technology for the recovery of cashew nut waste, suitable for the valorization of the nutshells, which constitute a large volume of waste produced by the cashew industry. These are shells uh, that contain a lot of oil and CNSL. It's an acid oil harmful to the environment. It can seep into groundwater, pollute the water, pollute the soil. Moreover, shells represent a large volume of waste, volumes that can take up a lot of space around factories. The first idea was to burn the shells using direct combustion, thus turning them into ash and smoke. That poses serious environmental and public health problems, because this oil burns very poorly and produces acrid smoke and acids that are really annoying. This oven can be made uh, easily in a small workshop in the town of Bobo Gelasso. The pyrolysis oven works in simple steps that are performed daily by the workers. Each morning the heating specialist unload the coal from the day before. It sets aside for later use. Then they set fire to a small quantity of shells and place it in the bottom of the oven to heat the rest of it. The door is closed, the shells come in through an opening at the top and fall into the preheated oven. With this heat and with the lack of oxygen inside the oven, the shells will decompose and create the pyrolysis gas that will be used to heat the boiler. When you charge and you put the shoes, you put the coke in the gabarit. After pouring shells into the oven, we open a cap so that the air goes in to chase out the smoke. After 5 to 10 minutes, you can turn it on. When loading, you open a new cap. Maintenance is done every two weeks and everything is clean. By loading 360 kilos of shells per day, we can weaken 2.4 tons of cashew nuts in the industrial process. We believe we can increase the production up to 2.8 or 3 tons with the same amount of shells. We estimate that we could increase the volume of treatment 3 to 4 times. When we arrived at the processing plant in the beginning of 2012, the boiler was working with wood fuel. Currently, and on a daily basis, the pyrolysis gas saves between 400 and 450 kilos of wood. After treatment of the shells, we obtain a charcoal. It can be used directly in cooking stoves. It has a similar characteristic to coal we usually find in commerce. We try to improve its quality, particularly its compactness, so that it requires fewer bags for uh, transport. This technology can be enhanced by carbon credits. It can be used in the drying of mango and it can be used in cotton oil factories. The main perspective is primarily that the pyrolysis becomes a Burkina concern case and be locally mastered.